Well, I was witness to 17 battles on the field, every one. I recall there I was out on the field during the battle, tending the wounded. Came across a young lieutenant. Oh, he was riding a magnificent horse. Well, he stopped nearby as I was bending down there, dending a boy. He said to me, Madam, by what authority are you on this battlefield? And I pointed. I said, I'm here by his authority. Do you have one higher? <laughs> oh, swinging his saber, he rode off. That night, at the battle's end, when the guns and cannons had ceased, I was walking through the field, checking on the wounded. Some, the only thing I could do for them was to comfort them as they crossed that cold river. I came across that young lieutenant. <laughs> he is trapped under his horse. Horse had been shot right out from under the boy. Broke his leg. I was able to pull him free. I carried him off that field. I tended his leg, set it. Made him as comfortable as I could. <laughs> that night I was sitting there next to him. He opened his eyes, clasped my hand, and he said, Mother, thank you for all you do. <laughs> that was payment enough for me as I see it. Well, sometimes we, uh, we had to load the boys up on flatboats to take them to a proper hospital where they'd get care. And it sounds perhaps cruel and heartless to some, but you see, we had to sort the boys out. Why, those who uh, could be helped, we'd, we'd get them on the boat. And those who were wounded, but they could wait a while, well, they had to stay behind. But the hardest part was those boys that we couldn't do anything for. There was no use in making them suffer on that trip on the boat, and there was nothing we could do to help them. Well, one time, one of those boys slipped through. His fellas brought him on the boat, carrying him on a door. I went over to check on the poor boy. It was a gut wound. There's nothing you can do for those boys. He looked over at me. He remembered me. He said, Mother, what you got in that sack? <laughs> I said, oh, son, I, I just got a crust of bread. He said, is it white bread? I said, yes, my boy, it is white bread. Then he paused. He smiled. He said, you think I could just have a taste of it? I ain't had no white bread in two years. I took out that little scrap of bread. I tucked it into his mouth and, oh, he laid back, savored it as though it was true manna from heaven. And then he just expired, died right there before my eyes. I have seen the best of mankind in war, and believe me, I have seen the worst. <laughs>